The port of Port of Spain is the gateway to the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago for the receipt, storage and delivery of goods ranging from food items, clothing, manufacturing materials, household items, furniture and appliances, vehicles and everyday commodities. As an essential service, the port has been doing its part diligently to ensure that the population of Trinidad and Tobago does not suffer any shortfalls in food or vital items during this unprecedented and unexpected time of the COVID-19 pandemic. Since we had the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, you recognize that uh, shipping, especially food items, commodity items, would have been something that we must put a lot of priority for. We had a lockdown where we had just the essential employees operating. The Port Authority is definitely an essential operation. And this morning, we just want to give the, the country the assurance that the port have been operating. Uh, every day we would have had containers coming in. Goods would have been cleared on a daily basis. And from all indication is that there's no shortage of commodity items, foodstuffs, uh, detergents, imported items, and local items on the market. So this morning is just another reassurance that we are giving that the port is operating at full capacity. Uh, ships are coming in on a daily basis and they are being cleared as well. My name is Andy Charles. I'm the owner of Tradewind, Grenada. Trinidad is a hub for food for the whole of the Caribbean. It's functioning. It, it, it might be everything that you need, that you want. But you have to cope with what you know. As we seek to ensure our family's health and safety, to many people, food has never seemed so important, both as a source of nutrition and for many for comfort. The question is, how are we treating with this situation in Trinidad and Tobago? One of the most important things we did is from the outset in dealing with the importers and dealing with the local, the farmers and everybody. One of the most important things is that you have seeds and you have access to fertilizer and chemicals and so on to do your planting. So in working with the importers, we've been able to ensure that we have the supply coming into the country and available to the, to the farmers, to the consumers. And most importantly, the agro shops could be open. That's the first thing. The second thing is that farmers have to sell their production. So under the COVID regulations, all, all versions of it, including the latest markets, supermarkets, farmers markets, roadside stalls can be operated. So farmers have access to that. There have been some small changes in the hours for the central market in Port of Spain, which is a key market and that is to eliminate the night hours. But farmers have been able to sell. The farmers markets are packed. We've been able to mention all the, all the adherence to the guidelines by the Ministry of National Security and the Ministry of Health and we've had no problems at the farmers market. The wholesale markets are operating and we've had no issues with that. Of course with the restaurants being closed and the food establishment there's a reduction in the demand. So what you're seeing happening is the farmers, some of the farmers may have a little challenge in selling to the traditional places that they sell. We know that people are buying more because they're at home they're consuming more and they're buying more and to, to deal with whatever surplus farmers would have the third initiative is to have chilled coal whatever storage that they need so right now in the country we are able through namdevco to store 1.5 million pounds of produce and that is in two locations on the east west corridor the piaco packing house which is a namdevco facility and a private facility in trinity we are also placing mobile storage across the country, the one in Mayaro, looking at Aranguez, Kunupia, Tabakit, and all the other areas where we determine that farmers have surplus, and they want short-term storage, they want to extend the shelf life of it. A new initiative which we've been working on for the, with the Ministry of Social Development, I hope it becomes a permanent feature of what we do for the people, the low-income people who need uh, assistance from the state in the country. We are actually coming with a split between a, a food card and a vegetable and fruit box and Namdevco will be doing the vegetable and fruit box through mainly through existing Namdevco registered farmers. So what has happened is that from the beginning of this exercise, this was in early March, the Minister of Trade, the Minister of Works and the Minister of Agriculture actually were part of a committee to ensure that goods essential products were available to the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. And a lot, of, a lot of engagement and collaboration went on between the ministers and the private sector. I'm therefore comfortable that people of Trinidad and Tobago have nothing to worry about. In fact, I'm always 
I'm always very impressed when I look at our supermarket shelves and I look at supermarket shelves in other parts of the world because you realize there's, we are not out of anything. There are no, there's no um, rationing of product. So I think that Trinidad and the government has done an excellent job of managing this. And the citizens can rest assured that the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber is working in close collaboration with the Minister of Works, Minister of National Security, Minister of Trade to ensure we have continued supply of the essentials required. I'd like to once again take this opportunity to thank all our respondents in Trinidad and Tobago for a job well done. I'd especially like to thank the workers at the Ministry of Works and Transport, especially those workers at the Port of Port of Spain, PTSC, all the essential services for their contribution, all in this thing together. And I'm sure at the end of the day, we will go back and say a job 